Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, we will discuss the rules of sets. As I said in the previous video, the rules of set is a lot like the rules of indices. With that in mind, let's begin. Let's look at the first rule. If the power is equal to its root, this should cancel out to be just a. If we recall from the rules of indices, the root has fractional power 1 over n. So, we can write this as a to the power of n to the power of 1 over n. And this one will cancel out to be just a. For example, here, it's the fourth root of y to the power of 4. Since the root is equal to its power, these two can cancel out to be just y. I'll leave the second example here for you to feel yourself. Moving on to the second rule here. The square root of a multiplied by the square root of a. And this will become the square root of a squared. Remember what I said in the previous video, when we have no roots written here, this one means this belongs to square roots. So, similar with the first rule, these two can cancel out to be just a. Just like the example here, we have square root of x multiplied by the square root of x. So, this one will become square root of x squared. And this cancel out to be just x. Let's look at rules number 3 and rules number 4. Just like the rules of indices, only multiplication and division operation can distribute and combine powers. Let's look at the third rule. Square root of a multiplied by square root of b becomes square root of a multiplied by b. We've used this rule quite a bit in our previous video when we were simplifying sets. Let's look at this one. Square root of 40 a squared. Since 40 and a squared are in multiplication, we can separate them to become square root of 40 multiplied by square root of a squared. Remember how to simplify sets? Square root of 40 can be simplified to be square root of 10. And simplifying this, just like in rule number 2, becomes just a. So our final answer will be 2a square root 10. Next, rule number 4. Because this is in division, we can separate the square root to become square root of a divided by square root of b. For example, here, square root of 16 divided by x squared. And because they are in division, it can be separated and become square root of 16 divided by square root of x squared. And this can be simplified further to become 4 over x. Just like in the previous slide, I'm going to leave the second example here for you to do. Moving on to rule number 5. Generally, if you have two equal sets in an operation, whether it's addition or subtraction, we can do the operation as usual. Let's take a look at the example over here. We have 8 square root of x minus square root of 25x. This two doesn't have the same sets, but we know we can simplify this part. We can rewrite this part as 8 square root of x minus 5 square root of x. Now that they have the same set, we can do the operation as usual. So this becomes 3 square root of x. Now let's say the last rule here. This one should be number 6. The last rule is the rules about multiplication for sets. Generally, we're going to multiply number with number and sets with sets. So 2 multiplied by 4 becomes 8 and then 5 multiplied by 8 becomes square root of 40. And again, we are going to simplify square root of 40 becomes 8 multiplied by 2 square root of 10. 10. And the final answer for this one is 16 square root of 10. Pause this video now to give yourself some time to answer these questions. Ready? Let's check your answers. The answer for number 1 is 4. The answer for number 2 is 7. The answer for number 3 is square root 30. Moving on to number 4. The answer for this one is 5. The answer for number 5 is 3 square root 2. And the last one is 10 square root 6. Very good. Next, let's test some of this knowledge on operations with sets term. In indices, you need to make sure that you have the same base. Similar in sets, you have to make sure that you have the same sets in your equations. Let's start with simplifying all the big sets first. So this one and this one. Do you still remember how to simplify sets? We just did this in the previous video. 
If you don't remember, you could always check the video again. I'll show it again here. But the next question, you are on your own. To simplify, the first thing that you need to do is to list out its factor and then look for its perfect square. So the factor for 27 is 1 with 27, 3 with 9. Since 9 is a perfect square, we're going to choose the pair of 3 with 9. So we are going to rewrite this into square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 3. And then simplifying this, you are going to get 3 square root of 3. Very good. The next one that we're going to simplify is square root 48. We can simplify square root 48 to be square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 3. And then your final answer for this one should be 4 square root of 3. Let's make this one smaller. Now that we have simplified this, we can rewrite this equation to be 5 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3. Because we have the same sets here, we can do the operation as usual. So 5 minus 3 plus 4 will give you 6 square root of 3. Easy, right? Let's try the next one. Always remember to simplify first. I'll let you simplify this this and this on your own. Pause the video now and do that first. Continue with this video after you are finished. Now, let's see. Set 32 can become 4 square root of 2. Square root of 15 can be simplified to be square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 5. And lastly, square root 24 can be simplified to be 2 square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 2. Now, let's rewrite this. So we have 4 square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 3 square root of 5 divided by 2 square root of 3 square root 2. Now this can be cancelled with this and this can be cancelled with this. And of course 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our final answer is 2 square root of 5. Now let's upgrade. This time you are on your own. Pause this video and try to expand these two brackets first and simplify the term after that. When you are done, come back and we'll check your answers together. I'll give you a hint. Expand this like this. This with that, this with that, this with that, and this with that. Continue to simplify afterwards. Now expanding will give you square root of 15 minus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 2 multiplied by 5 minus 4 square root of 15. Now those with the same sets can be subtracted and become minus 3 square root 15 minus 6 plus 10. So our final answer should be 4 minus 3 square root 15. So that's it for now. If you are still confused, you can always watch the video again and try to do some questions on your own. If that still doesn't clear anything, you can discuss this again in your tutorial session. As always, thank you for your attention and have a great day. Take care.